Right now at 10, former La Crosse School Board members speak out about a 17-year-old policy that prevents them from speaking to the media. And a warning about candy-colored fentanyl. Experts say they're made to target children. Plus, why learn in one language when you can learn in two? A new program at Arcadia Schools is teaching students in Spanish and English. You're watching WKDT La Crosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Amy is off tonight. We rarely get to hear from school board members on La Crosse's school board. It isn't until they leave the board that we get the chance. And that's because of a policy implemented 17 years ago. Tonight, News 8 Now's Dua Israr introduces you to two former board members speaking out about that policy. The fact that we felt that discussion wasn't even warranted speaks volumes. If checks and balances exist to give everyone a voice, we never took away individuals' rights to their own voice. Then it doesn't explain why school board president Juan Jimenez speaks for the entire school board. That was never the intention of that policy, and it's really quite disappointing. A school district spokesperson told News 8 Now under the current policy, all media requests are directed to the board president and only the board president. I think it's taking away um, a voice of um, individuals on the board. It's also taking away the public's right to know what their elected officials want to do and why they're doing what they're doing. Deborah Sukla spent 17 years on the school board. Sukla says the board president was the sole spokesperson when a policy was decided by the board. We as a board needed to stand together and support it, no matter what side you stood on it. But prior to any policy passing, good government needs to hear diverse opinions around the table. Board members were able to discuss their opinions at board meetings and with members of the media. Why would the public vote for any of the board members if you don't even know what they stand for? When a school board rarely disagrees or has differing opinions, it runs into the possibility of becoming a rubber stamp board. It's absolutely a rubber stamp board. In August, former school board member Rob Abraham resigned. I needed to do something that would draw the attention of not only the school board, but the public. According to Abraham, board members with opposing voices aren't given the opportunity to discuss their views. It's hard to even get a debate going or engaging in a debate. Uh, anyone who has an opposing view will just completely be shut out. So while checks and balances are intended to give everyone a voice. It, it, it comes to the point where you feel as a board member where you're supposed to show up, smile and vote yes. Under the Lacrosse School Board's policy, taxpayers only hear one voice. And with that, we are adjourned. Reporting in Lacrosse, through Esrar, News 8 Now. News 8 Now did reach out to President Juan Jimenez for a comment. We were told he is out of town until Friday. Now, per the policy, no one else on the board could comment. News 8 Now will continue to follow this story, and you can read our previous coverage of this story at news8000.com. Time to switch things up. Send it over to our First Alert Media Center. Bill Grawl, uh, some f uh, frozen advisories tonight. Yeah, uh, frost and freeze warnings, uh, both in play. Frost advisories and freeze warnings. Now, some spots of the north and east woke up to temperatures this morning in the upper 20s to lower 30s. Our low in La Crosse was 38, but it's going to be even colder tonight into tomorrow morning. So freeze warnings in place uh, from midnight to 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for Eau Claire in the Chippewa Valley. Also Clark, Jackson, Monroe, Juneau, and Adams counties. The rest of us in a frost advisory, low to mid 30s for lows there. Freeze warning areas could see lows in the mid to upper 20s, so cover or bring in sensitive plants. Cover those gardens if you want to keep them alive and protect outdoor plumbing, especially in those freeze warned areas uh, like disconnect your garden hoses and uh, make sure those uh, sprinkler systems are drained. Hopefully you took care of that. Uh, 59 degrees was the high today in La Crosse. In fact, most spots in the 50s, couple of 60s down in Prairie du Chien and Boscobel, even with lots of sunshine. Uh, temperatures about 10 degrees below average. Now we've got a few clouds near and east of La Crosse, but those will go away and will become mostly clear for most of the night. That's going to allow these temperatures, which are primarily in the 40s, even a 39 already in Eau Claire, to fall into the 20s and 30s overnight. We'll dip to about 35 in the La Crosse area. Again, coldest night so far this season overnight. School cast for tomorrow, a chilly start, 36 at 7 a.m., 53 by lunchtime. Afternoon highs cool once again, but uh, lots of sunshine. Highs right around 60 degrees. Now, I do have a warm-up in my eight-day forecast. All the details on that and a check on Hurricane Ian as well. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. The DEA recently put out a warning about fentanyl packaged in different colors, making the pills more appealing to children and young adults. Recently, these pills have been found in Mankato, Minnesota. 
An emergency room doctor with Gunderson Health System says anytime drugs are made to look like candy, there's a higher chance of children being exposed. He says he hasn't seen the trend in lacrosse yet, but it's only a matter of time. It won't be long before it's here. We have seen other pill forms of fentanyl in our area. Um, so so it, it's not a big stretch that they would come in colored forms uh, shortly. He adds that he's starting to see more instances of fentanyl being laced with methamphetamines and even marijuana in some cases. Fentanyl test strips can be used to protect people who are struggling with addiction so they can test the substance if they're unable to stop themselves from using. The DEA says fentanyl is the deadliest drug threat that our country faces. Just two milligrams of the opioid is considered a lethal dose. The trial for the man accused of killing six and injuring dozens of others at a Waukesha Christmas parade is just six days away, and it's still unclear who will represent Daryl Brooks in court. The judge sent Brooks away from court today with documents after she couldn't determine if he understands what's going on. Brooks told the judge he believes he would be better served representing himself. In order to grant that request, the judge needs to find that Brooks has a clear understanding of his case, including the charges against him and the penalties. When asked if he understands these things, Brooks, for the most part, said no. I don't understand where we're going with this. Just want you to understand the resources that you're up against when you represent yourself. Doesn't make me flinch one bit. Brooks's trial is scheduled to begin Monday. The Milwaukee Police Association is endorsing Ron Johnson in the U.S. Senate race, and it comes as Johnson and his opponent Mandela Barnes trade jabs on the issue of police and crime. Throughout his campaign, Johnson has touted his record of supporting law enforcement, and he says he supports getting agencies the tools that they need. He says there's a stark contrast between him and Barnes, who he says wants to defund the police. But critics on the left say Johnson is the one who wants to defund the police. Johnson rejected those claims today. It's rare, I would say never happens, where you voting simply on a bill to fund the police. If it were that the case, I'd be voting for all of them. You know, like I vote for defense spending because those are top priorities of government you know keep our nation safe keep our community safe johnson also criticized barnes over his rhetoric saying barnes increased tensions during the riots in kenosha in 2020 the barnes campaign says johnson's record speaks for itself in a statement a campaign spokesperson says johnson quote defended the criminals whose insurrection injured 140 police officers on january 6th and voted against increased police funding throughout his 12 years in the u.s senate Ukrainians and Afghans living in Wisconsin for months now still can't work legally. Senator Tammy Baldwin is calling on the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, asking on them to immediately address wait times for work permits averaging seven months long. Baldwin has tried to step in on behalf of local families with limited success. The problem we're finding literally is their responses. Everybody has a need to be able to support themselves, so this isn't... Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, a particularly uh, unusual situation. Well, that doesn't that doesn't do it for me. Baldwin is banding together with other senators to support additional funding for the agency in the next fiscal year. The Arcadia School District is launching a new program to foster the next generation of bilingual students. The program is called Valle, Spanish for Valley, and it's being introduced in a kindergarten class of 26 kids who are either dominant in Spanish, dominant in English, or been exposed to both already. The class will learn in Spanish almost the entire day, and as they progress into future grades, the goal is to be learning half in Spanish and half in English. One of the program's teachers says most kids in Arcadia are speaking Spanish at home. So teaching them academic Spanish allows them to continue to develop reading and writing at home with their parents. She says it's an important step because traditional education formats don't allow that process to happen. They're immersed in a new language, their home language is still developing, but then they're expected, it kind of stops when they come to school, and then they're expected to continue learning academic language in English without having made those connections to their home language in Spanish. The program is scheduled to teach the kids this way through fourth grade. McGuire hopes by then the school will have more programming to continue it into middle school. Still ahead tonight, Oktoberfest is coming, and La Crosse police are preparing to keep tens of thousands of festgoers safe during the busiest weekend of the year. And later, Netflix is expanding, the streaming giant announcing they're delving deeper into gaming.
The radical left hate America and riot in our streets. They indoctrinate our children to hate America, stoking fear and envy with their lies and deceptions. Their radical woke agenda and divisive politics are tearing our country apart. Here's Mandela Barnes. Does the founder of this nation? Awful. Mandela Barnes is a radical leftist. He supports their woke agenda that's causing you and your family so much pain. I'm Ron Johnson, and I approve this message. Save big money with 11% off everything at Menards, including all Suncast storage sheds. Keep your outdoor tools, supplies, and valuables secure and protected. The 8 foot by 10 foot Tremont outdoor shed is low maintenance and has reinforced construction for added strength and stability. While the hinges and lockable handles add extra security. All Suncast storage sheds are 11% off right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. There's case after case. Women working for Tim Michaels Construction Company saying they were groped, sexually assaulted, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. When they resisted, they say they were threatened, called a liar, and forced to resign. And when co-workers spoke up, they were fired. If this is how Tim Michaels runs his business, how do you think he'd run the state? Tim Michaels' radical agenda is so very, very wrong. Oktoberfest is just a few days away and thousands of people are coming to La Crosse to celebrate. As News Now's Emily Haugen explains, the La Crosse Police Department, along with some area students, are working to keep festgoers safe during the city's busiest weekend. Oktoberfest is a busy time of year. We are amping up for a great Oktoberfest this year. For festers and law enforcement. We're right, getting ready to go so that we can be there and keep the community safe. La Crosse police are all hands on deck this weekend and hitting the roads. Our focus is mainly everything outside of the Oktoberfest grounds and the parades. Some traveling by car, others by foot. And we'll just keep going back and forth. Adam Schmeiser is the co-director of River Watch. It's an effort, mostly staffed by college students, to keep people from wandering into the river. There used to be a lot of drownings in the Mississippi. Those volunteers pace Riverside Park from 11 at night until 3 in the morning most weekends. We also make sure that they're in good enough condition to be able to get home. But this weekend is an even bigger affair as volunteers walk to keep people from drowning. During Oktoberfest, we'll see probably close to 100 people come down here. Police say with big events like this, it's important to look out for yourself and others. We ask that the community is working together, kind of like a, a neighborhood watch. Working together to keep fest goers safe. Now, security on the fest grounds is managed by a private company. Off-grounds help will also be available at the 3rd Street AIDS station at the corner of 3rd and Pearl in La Crosse. Oktoberfest kicks off this Thursday. Still to come, toy companies have a new kind of target audience this holiday season. It's not your kids. And later, a new kind of offering when you log into a major streaming platform. And I'm Chief uh, Meteorologist Bill Grawl. Coldest night of the season so far this fall in store for tonight. I'll have all the details of my eight-day forecast up next. Transportation, food supply, everything is going carbon free. At Excel Energy, we see it too. Eco-friendly car washes, carbon free search engines, and all that clean energy needs clean energy. The same reliable, more affordable energy that powers your home. This is how the future is made. At a company, the culture comes from the top. Tim Michael's company has been sued numerous times over sexual assault and harassment in the workplace. Women who worked for Michael's company said they were groped, assaulted, and pressured to have sex with their bosses. Higher ups at Michael's dismissed the women as liars and even fired those who spoke out. Is that what we need for Wisconsin? Tim Michael's, too radical, too divisive. The power to change your future is now. The SUVs are here. Be one of the first to drive a new Explorer, Bronco Sport, or Edge. Custom order your SUV today. 
Lock in 2.9% financing for 60 months, plus 500 retail order bonus cash on a new 2023 Ford Explorer, Bronco Sport, or Edge. To everyone who loves great food, let us make you a meal the Wisconsin way. We cook each butter burger to order for you and the people you love, so it's the best part of your day. The best. The best. And every creamy scoop of fresh frozen custard, pure happiness. Pure happiness. Pure happiness. Because where Culver's comes from, in the heart of America's Dairyland. Our love. Our love for fresh food is as strong as our love for all of you. <laughs> from Wisconsin with love. Welcome to Delicious. Yeah. Violent crime up across Wisconsin. Families nervous about their safety. Yet Mandela Barnes called for releasing half of Wisconsin's jailed inmates. That would mean releasing over 10,000 criminals right into our neighborhoods. 10,000 reasons your family would be in more danger. Barnes also supported defunding the police. 10,000 more criminals with fewer police to protect us. What could go wrong? Wisconsin Truth Bank is responsible for the content of this advertising. CityCam 8 is brought to you by The Board Store. A new entry door is like a smile on the face of your home. As the only Provia Platinum dealer in the area, The Board Store can help you design the door that welcomes you home. Hurricane Ian is not expected to impact U.S. fuel prices. AAA is reporting the national average for a gallon is $3.75. That's about eight cents more than it was last week, but analysts say Ian is not to blame. Analysts are saying the loss of roughly 485,000 barrels a day from storm evacuations will, evacuations will only have a minor impact on production. In the meantime, new home sales in the U.S. bounced back in August despite high prices and mortgage rates. The federal government reports 685,000 new homes were sold last month, up from 532,000 in July. New home sales had been trending lower with prospective buyers seeing their budgets stretch pretty thin by long construction times, mounting costs, and those rising mortgage rates. Facebook's parent company Meta says it detected and shut down two separate networks of fake accounts from China and Russia. Meta, Meta says the Russian campaign pushed pro-Kremlin narratives about the war in Ukraine. Meta did not say those networks belonged to either nation's government, only that they were part of campaigns that were being run out of those countries. Toy companies have a new target audience for gifts this holiday season, adults. A Hasbro executive says the company is pitching collectibles and nostalgic products to adults. Hasbro expects strong demand for toy brands like Transformers, G.I. Joe, Star Wars, and Marvel. Mattel is also hoping to cash in on adults buying toys, especially Hot Wheels. And Netflix is pivoting to the gaming world. The streaming giant is opening its own in-house video game studio in Finland. It's like, likely a move to try and prevent more subscriber losses. The company lost subscribers for the first time in more than a decade recently, and its stock has plunged more than 60 percent. The company's also bought three other gaming studios that currently have 32 games on its platform. Now, those games can be downloaded and played only on mobile devices. Not much of a mobile device gamer myself, but I do use the First Alert weather app, courtesy of News 8000, and Bill has been telling me, oh yeah, the production control room, love that one. Uh, yeah, the app was telling me a lot of frost advisories and even some freeze advisories tonight. Yeah, that, that's a transition right there. Nice job, Ken. Thank you. And uh, yeah, coldest night of the season so far, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But uh, first of all, you mentioned Ian and its possible impacts on gas prices. And uh, fortunately, most of the refineries and uh, gas uh, drilling stations are in the central and western portions of the Gulf. This thing is in the southeastern portions of the Gulf of Mexico. But as you can see, it's got a very well-defined and large eye. Uh, still a Category 3, still 120 mile per hour sustained wind, so it hasn't strengthened since the last update, which is good news. But it is still forecast to strengthen as it approaches the coast of southwest Florida, moving north-northeast now at 10 miles per hour, located 110 miles southwest of Naples, Florida, which is just south of Fort Myers. Now, uh, tracking this thing over the next uh, 48 hours or so, again, it could strengthen to a Category 4, 130 mile per hour sustained winds. That'd be the low end of a Category 4, but uh, whether it's a 3 or a 4, that's a strong hurricane. Forecast to uh, make landfall sometime tomorrow afternoon and then weaken to a Category 3 as it pushes farther in shore, uh, on shore. Somewhere between uh, Sarasota, which is just south of Tampa, and Naples, which is just south of Fort Myers. That's the way it's looking right now. 
that it uh, weakens to a tropical storm right over Orlando and Disney World, and then it continues uh, maybe back off the coast of uh, southeast of uh, Jacksonville by Thursday evening. Uh, winds by then no, down to 50 miles per hour. All right, back to our neck of the woods and cold is the word around here. Freeze warnings for Eau Claire and the Chippewa Valley, uh, Clark and Jackson, Monroe, Juno and Adams counties from midnight to 8 a.m. Lows in those purple shaded areas, mid to upper 20s. The rest of us frost advisory, low to mid 30s. So cover those uh, sensitive plants if you want to keep them alive. Cover the gardens if you want to keep anything alive and protect the outdoor plumbing in those freeze warned areas especially. Zone forecast showing lows tonight, 31 in Bangor, Middle Ridge, 35 in Berry Mills and here in the La Crosse area, right at freezing in West Salem. Down to the south, uh, mid to upper 30s right along the Mississippi, but lower to middle 30s in eastern parts of those uh, communities. And then upper 20s in Monroe County, mid to upper 20s in Jackson County, up into Clark County as well, right around 30 to 32 degrees in Eau Claire and Chippewa Falls. A few clouds scattered about, but skies will be clear for most of the night. Today was cool, 59 and 38. We should be around 71 for a high and 50 for a low, so well short of that. 48 degrees, some cloud cover right now. That's going to go away, though, and uh, north wind at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Eau Claire, 39 degrees for you folks, and winds are currently calm. Temperatures in the 50s to our south and west, but locally, most spots in the 40s now, even a 39 up in Eau Claire, and winds are lightening up, and uh, with those clearing skies and light winds, as these clouds move out, that's why it's going to be so chilly tonight with high pressure continuing to pump pump uh, cooler air in from the north. So Sky Tracker, I'll expand the view to show that uh, any cloud cover, significant cloud cover tomorrow will be well to our east. Lots of sunshine tomorrow, clear tomorrow night, and then heading into Thursday, more of the same. Lots of sunshine, more of a southerly wind flow, though, and that's going to start uh, temperatures warming heading towards the weekend. So clear and chilly tonight, 35. Frosty with freeze conditions north and east. 60 tomorrow, lots of sunshine, but continued about 10 degrees below average. Patchy frost tomorrow night, 38 in La Crosse. Uh, Mid-60s on Thursday to kick off Oktoberfest. Look at Friday, Saturday, and Sunday looking beautiful. Low to mid-70s for highs, overnight lows in the 40s. So if we can get by tonight, tomorrow, keeping your plants alive, uh, the rest of the trend is looking pretty good with overnight lows in the 40s. Rain chances holding off until maybe Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, and even those are looking pretty slight. Excellent. Thanks, Bill. Okay. Coming up next in sports, the results of our latest poll for play of the week, plus Aquinas Volleyball seeking another win to continue chasing Holman atop the MVC. Rob's up next. News 8 Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or treatment for a complex condition, Mayo Clinic Health System has convenient and safe options for the care you and your family need. Derek Van Orden, former U.S. Navy SEAL. Over 20 years of active duty, defending America in hostile territory. Five combat tours, hundreds of missions, sea, air, and land. Now, he's on the most important no-fail mission of his life. Saving America for my grandchildren and yours. Grandpa, we're just going to the park. Yes, we are. You guys ready? Yeah. Uh, Derek, <laughs> Derek Van Orden and I approve this mission and this message. Why roll the dice with an unproven contractor? With over 27,000 projects completed, your home improvement company has a proven track record. So be confident that your project will be done right the first time. For the month of September, we are offering 10% off windows, roofing, and bathrooms. So call or go online to book your free estimate and take advantage of our rock bottom interest rates as low as 2.99% or financing for zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2024. Your home improvement company, where it's your home made better. The power to change your future is now. The new F-150 is here. Be one of the first to drive the latest, most advanced, best-selling truck for the last 45 years. Custom order your F-150 today. Lock in 2.9% financing for 60 months, plus 500 retail order bonus cash on a new 2023 Ford F-150. Don't wait. Get to your Northland Ford dealers today. Tim Walls failed us. Record violent crime, out of control inflation, and declining education for our kids. That's why we need Dr. Scott Jensen, Minnesota Family Doctor of the Year and a lifelong Minnesotan. He'll lock up violent repeat offenders, put more money in the family budget, and make sure our kids get the best education. As a family doctor for more than 40 years, I have been a trusted voice for my patients. Now I'm asking to be your voice as Governor of Minnesota. Together, let's heal Minnesota. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. 
Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. Another busy night of high school sports. Let's start on the volleyball court. Aquinas fell to 6-2 and two in the MVC after its loss to Holman last week. So now the Blue Golds are a game behind the Vikings in the conference. But Aquinas looking to keep pace with Holman. Blue Golds back in action tonight at Central taking on the Riverhawks. Aquinas coming out swinging in the first. It's the freshman Sammy Davis going up high for the kill. Blue Golds come out blazing. It's 11-3 early. But the Riverhawks clawing back later in the first. Perfect setup for Alyssa Brixen. She spikes it home. But Aquinas pulls away. And it's Addie Four leading the way. One of her 14 kills on the night. Blue Golds, they take the first set. Let's go to the second set now. More of the same. It's Davis again. She's a freshman. That makes it 12-6 Aquinas. But here comes Central. Avery Vienendahl, smart play here from the senior. Nobody's home for Aquinas. It's 14-10. Then later in the set. Vienenthal this time with the assist to Brixton. Nice touch at the net. Riverhawks cut the deficit to just three, but again, the Blue Gold pulling away late, and it's four, putting the finishing touch on the second. Aquinas goes up two sets. Blue Golds get back on track. They get the three-set sweep over Central. Let's stay in the MVC. On Alaska at home tonight. Hilltoppers hosting Logan. Let's pick this one up in the first. On Alaska's Sammy Hansen and Haley Kapelke showing off the hops. On Alaska up big. Hilltoppers, they take the first set. Let's go to the second set now. Logan gets off to a fast start here. Nice touch from Aaliyah Hamilton. She tips it over the net. Nice point right there. Both teams fighting back and forth in this one, but the Rangers pull ahead thanks to this play here from the freshman, Kaya DePaolo. Sweet touch at the top of the net, but here come the Hilltoppers. On Alaska was down five at one point, but not anymore. Claire Pedretti, she's been on fire all season. She gets it done again for her squad. Big point there for the Hilltoppers. On Alaska gets a hard fought win at home. 3-1 the final over Logan. As for Holman, the Vikings stay in first place as they get the win over Toma in four sets. Westby taking on Viroqua at home. The Norsemen have been red hot this season, but they face some adversity early on. Jada Berg starting the game off strong, but the Blackhawks actually win the first set 25-23. But then it's Jada Berg, one of her 18 kills on the night. Berg and Kenzie Stellner with the block. Emily Collins with the kill. Westby wins at 25-11. Viroqua's Aaliyah Fox gets a kill for them to start off, but Westby wins the third. Westby wins this one in four sets. A really good match, but Westby improves to 19-1 on the season. Switching over to the pitch now. Here we go. MVC frontrunner on Alaska looking to give Lacrosse Central their first conference loss of the season. First half on Alaska going for goal, and the ball gets past the keeper here, Lucas Von Wies with the shot, but Max Lyons is there to stop it and keep this one tied at nil-nil. Second half, Central making a run. Landon Larson working up the box. No red flags here. He gets a nice shot off, and it goes in for the first goal tonight. That gets the Riverhawks fired up. One last chance for Onalaska, the free kick. Max Worcester sends it in, but right into the hands of Mason Rouch. one nothing the final. The Riverhawks are now 5-0 and and 3 in conference play. Brewers needing every win they can get to keep their playoff hopes alive, taking on the cards at home. Not a good start for the crew in the fourth. Andrew Kisner, two-run shot here, makes it 4 nothing, And then it goes from bad to worse in the fifth. Paul Goldschmidt adds another one here for the cards. That makes it 5 nothing. Brewers lose another tough one at home, 6-2. to two. Could the Cubbies help out the Brewers and keep it a game and a half? The quick answer is yes. In the third, Christopher Morrell goes the other way. That's going to carry over the fence for a homer. Chicago goes up 1-0. Cubs hang on for the win over Philly. 2-1 the final from Chicago. And the votes are in. Our latest News 8 Now Play of the Week goes to Onalaska's Jacob Havlick. Beautiful save last week. Skying high to keep this one out of the net. Awesome play. Much deserved. Congrats to Jacob and thanks to everyone for casting your vote. That'll do it for sports. We'll be right back. Dear Gas Prices, my lineup brings serious savings. We got this. Toyota Hybrids. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Toyota, let's go places. At Batteries Plus, we do more than replace batteries and fix phones and tablets. We help our neighbors power their lives. Need a phone fixed? We got it. Get powered in-store, curbside, and at BatteriesPlus.com. Ron Johnson and China. Here's how it works. While in the Senate, Johnson made $57 million from a family business whose growth was directly linked to China. He invested in Chinese factories, 
and Johnson's family business got 50 million in loans from the Bank of China. Johnson pushed for shipping American jobs overseas while he got rich. Ron Johnson's out for himself, not us. SMP is responsible for the content of this ad. Would you look at that? It's beautiful. Wow. That's our boy. So proud. Start your morning with a sausage biscuit or sausage McMuffin and pair it with a $1 any size Coke. Hypnotize your way to savings. Breathing techniques to help you save. Looking to make saving a habit? Yeah, what's the secret? No secret. Just open a savings account at BMO and we'll give you a cash reward for every month you save. A cash reward? Just for saving. Mm hmm And when you open a checking account, we'll give you a $300 bonus to get your new savings habit started. Love that. What's your book? How to get a $300 bonus and a monthly cash reward for saving with BMO. He literally wrote the book on saving. Has me on the cover. When a bank helps you make real financial progress, that's the BMO effect. On crime, Tony Evers broke his promise. Evers released hundreds of violent criminals from prison. Murderers, child rapists, back on our streets. Evers broke his promise. Now we're less safe than ever. Tim Michaels took an oath to protect America, and that's what he'll do as governor. Michaels will put more police on the street, fire weak prosecutors, and keep criminals behind bars. Strength and leadership. Tim Michaels for governor. Dear gas prices, my lineup brings serious savings. We got this. Toyota hybrids. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan. Toyota, let's go places. It might feel a little early to talk about the holidays, but the Salvation Army is preparing to make the season jolly for area families in need. The Salvation Army of La Crosse is bringing back their Angel Tree and Food Basket programs. Registration for families to get Angel Tree gifts and food baskets runs from October 3rd to the 21st. Program leaders are starting registration a little earlier this time in the hopes of helping even more families than last year. Last year we helped over 300 families and over 770 children. It just shows the need um, and that places like Salvation Army are here to help. And our community overwhelms us every year with their response to this program. You can sign up both online and in person at the Salvation Army. If individuals want to register for a food basket, they must do that in person. Tags for the Angel Tree will start rolling out in November at Walmart, Advanced Auto, and Pizza Ranch locations. And we'll have all this information posted on our website, news8000.com. And we will be right back to wrap things up. La Crosse Glass and Overhead Doors has been selling, servicing, and installing garage doors since 1964 and believe garage doors should be exceptional in quality and craftsmanship. We guarantee to help you select a door to fit all of your needs. We offer a large stock inventory of CHI overhead doors, including residential, commercial, rolling steel, and high-speed doors. Visit our website and design the door of your dreams with CHI Door Visions. Get your free quote today. Ron Johnson's at it again, lying about my taxes. Let's be clear, my taxes are paid in full, but there were times I was getting by on peanut butter sandwiches. And that's why I support a tax cut for the middle class, put more money in your pockets, because I know how hard you work. But Johnson used a sentence to write a loophole that gave huge tax cuts to himself and his biggest donors, leaving us with crumbs. And that's how we get left behind. I'm Mandela Barnes, and I approve this message. The power to change your future is now. The SUVs are here. Be one of the first to drive a new Explorer, Bronco Sport, or Edge. Custom order your SUV today. Lock in 2.9% financing for 60 months, plus 500 retail order bonus cash on a new 2023 Ford Explorer, Bronco Sport, or Edge. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. Where does electricity come from? It comes from here. 
and here, and here. At Excel Energy, we work to keep that energy reliable and safe by constantly monitoring and protecting the grid. Because while it's important where electricity comes from, we're just as focused on getting it where it's going safely. This is how the future is made. Again, those freeze warnings from midnight tonight till 8 o'clock tomorrow morning for the Eau Claire area, north and uh, eastern parts of the Vienna area, low or mid to upper 20s for lows there. The rest of us, frost advisory for the same time frame, low to mid 30s for lows there. 60 for a high tomorrow, just patchy frost tomorrow night, 38, and then mid 60s on Thursday, low to mid 70s. Beautiful Oktoberfest weather Friday through the weekend. You love to see it. Thank you, Bill. And we end with a disclaimer from the disclaimer. Sports Department. I, for <laughs> I actually forgot to close the poll. So I'm sorry to the home and volleyball team. You guys won by a lot during that uh, when the poll showed. And I don't, I mean, don't take it out on me. I go to all of your games. I've been to he almost feels every bad, single one of their games. I'm sorry. On Alaska was winning when I, when I saw you it. You owe them big time. All right. Thanks for watching tonight. <laughs>